How do you go from looking like this to this? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you a simple shaving tutorial so that you can get similar results yourself. I've had totally terrible facial hair for a long time. Before now, I've tried growing it long. It just looks scraggly, it doesn't look good. As a result, as you will have seen in most of my videos, I like to stay clean shaven. And if you want to make your skin as soft as possible and also make the shave as short as possible, you'll want to be using some form of razor. They get as close to the skin as possible. But loads of dudes struggle to use these things, constantly cutting themselves because they haven't prepared properly or they don't follow the right sort of routine. So in this short video, I'm gonna summarize it all for you, showing you the best way to shave to get the best possible results. All the products used in this video are by today's sponsor, which is Harry's. They offer the best razor delivery service that you can get. They deliver the blades straight to your door, cutting out the middleman and saving you money in the long run. No more trips to the shop every other week just to stock up on razor blades. In this video, I'll be using the Winston razor from Harry's. And as well as being really nice and weighty and high quality, they also have some key advantages, which you'll see me highlighting throughout this video, that have really helped me, a guy, who has eczema on his neck that can't normally use one of these to be able to use one successfully. Right then, it's time to shave. Some dudes go straight in with the shave gel. Stop right there. Before you've done any of that, you need to use some hot water to wash your face. You can either do this in the shower or the basin. What this does is it opens the pores and allows the blade to work better later on. It's at this point that you can also use some form of exfoliant, such as the Harry's face wash. Now the reason I like to put something on just before I put the gel on is because it allows the gel to sit on the surface later. It also helps your skin to be healthy, clean and removes any dead skin cells. So you might as well do it at the same time. Once more, I'm gonna rinse this off with hot water because if I rinse it with cold at this step, then it's gonna negate the whole effect of what I've just done. Okay, so my face is warm, washed and damp. It's time to apply the shave gel. This is gonna help the shave to be as smooth as possible. The Harry's one also contains aloe to soothe the skin. The big mistake that loads of guys make when it comes to applying shave gel is they use way too much. And as a result, the foam gets out of control and they can't see what they're shaving. An amount just like this is more than enough. Apply this onto your face in a nice thin layer. There are certain areas that you need to make sure that you cover too. Loads of guys don't shave well under the chin or on their jawline. And also be wary of hair at the top of the cheeks. Loads of guys seem to miss a spot and they have hairs left over right here. Once you've got a nice even application, it's time to shave. Make sure your cartridge is fitted onto the razor and we're ready to go. I like to start on my cheeks in a simple downward direction. Firm and not too fast. You need to make sure that you actually let the shaver do the work for you. The Harry's razor has a really nice rubberized grip which allows me to stay in control. The blade will eventually become filled with foam, so every once in a while just make sure that you rinse the blade under the tap to get rid of it. This just ensures that you can be as accurate as possible and that the blades won't be clogged up for the next swipe. Once this area of the face is done, I like to go onto the neck. This is the area that before now I've really struggled with when it comes to razors. I've got a really aggressive patch of eczema that's been persistent here for years. Nothing will seem to kill it off. And as a result, with pretty much every single razor that I've used, it's only stimulated it and made it look worse. Razor burn and eczema are never a good combination. But as you can see, I've had no problems at all with the Harry shaver and the gel. The neck is also an area where hair grows in all sorts of directions. And with the Harry's razor, I haven't even had to worry. The shave is so smooth, I can go with the grain or against the grain with no problems. I'm left with a really smooth and satisfying result. If I haven't managed to cut myself with one of these, then you aren't gonna be able to either. I'm normally pretty clumsy when it comes to shaving. In fact, I had very little problems when it came to under the nose area and around the chin. The best way that I've found when it comes to the top lip in particular is to go at an angle. You can try vertical strokes, but I don't find that they work particularly well. If you go in sideways, it just seems to work better. It's far, far quicker and gets the job done. You just need to make sure that you've got blades that are sharp and capable enough to do the job. And I also attack the chin in a similar manner. For different areas of the face, including around the chin, you can attempt to you know, pull and stretch the skin to make it smoother. But with the Winston razor, I find that it's pretty smooth anyway. Just take your time around here because if there's anywhere that you're gonna cut yourself, it'll probably be around your chin. Once I've rinsed the main parts of my face, I also use the additional edging blade on the top of the shaver, and I just chop off the excess bits of the sideburns. So congratulations, the main bit of your shaving is done. How do you finish it off? 
I've tried a huge range of different types of aftershave balms, including even one that Harry sent me themselves. And this was fine, but it wasn't as good as one of their brand new products. They sent me the post shave mist, which is due for release today, the day this video goes live. A brand new product, and I can tell you it is well worth the money. Much better than any of the other bombs I've tried before. You just spray the shaved areas using some of this, and I have to admit, it's a bit odd spraying yourself in the face with something. This one's got a bunch of different botanical extracts in, and it just does the job. As soon as it touches the skin, you can feel it calming your skin straight away. And it refreshes it, and it leaves it feeling refreshed. Lots of the balms I've tried before, you apply, it works initially for the first two minutes, and then it's just back to normal again. The post-shave mist leaves a lasting, soothing effect. I can see why they're so hyped up about this one. And it completely nullified any of the irritation from my patch of eczema as well. You can't ask for more than that in a post-shave product. Once you've applied this stuff, you're sorted. Your face has never felt more like a baby's bottom. Super smooth, close, and really hydrated still. That's how to shave your face using a razor. You'll find links to the Harry's Post Shave Mist, as well as all the rest of the Harry's products in the link in the description. As a result of being on YouTube, especially covering lots of different types of style and grooming topics, I've been sent a huge bunch of different shavers in the past, most of which haven't lived up to the billing, and as a result, haven't been on this channel. Now, I knew that Harry's was gonna be half decent because I've you know, seen them on TV and online before. They're a big company now, but I must say, I wasn't expecting the products to be as good as they are. And that's the reason I'm so happy to have teamed up with them for this video. Because I know that once you try these things, you won't be disappointed for yourself. The trial set starts from £3.95 if here in the UK. I think they sell to some areas of Europe and to US too. And for that price, you've got to at least give it a shot. If you're using something like a Gillette, then this just works out way cheaper and you get a razor that frankly is a lot better quality. It doesn't also look like anything out of the Transformers movies, which helps too. What razor do you currently shave with? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure you press the like button. And if you want to see more videos on how to style your hair and what to wear, then make sure you press the round subscribe icon as well. And I will see you on the next video.